the second part of chapter 3, we are going to learn uh, function blocks for combinational logic. Functions are considered uh, that uh, something useful in design, so there's uh, some basic functionality we want to define, and then we hope that we could use that in, uh, repeatedly in several place places. Uh. And the functional block is a uh, combinational circuit implementation of uh, such uh, basic functions. Uh. In the past, uh, those uh, functional blocks are packaged uh, in the integrated uh, circuits, uh, uh, depending on its complexity, in small scale or medium scale or large scale. But today, uh, they are often implemented within a very large scale integrated circuit. We are going to study several functional blocks. Uh, and the first one is a uh, decoder. A decoder is a uh, a functional block which does a decoding function. The size of the decoder is specified by two numbers n and m. So first number n is the number of inputs. And the second number m is the number of outputs. So we say n to m line decoder or n by m decoder for short. Uh, the function of a decoding is uh, that uh, given valid code word of inputs valid code word of inputs the decoder produces a, a unique output code so again if we have n inputs the valid code word could be 2 to the n code word for each code word the output produces a unique code that is a decoder so, for example, we have a 2 by 4 decoder, so 2 inputs and the 4 outputs. Uh, 2 inputs, uh, if we label them as A1 and A0, we have uh, 4 possible code words. And then, uh, output, we have uh, 4 outputs. Uh, uh, to each code word uh, of the input, one output is uniquely identified. So when input is 0, 0, only D0 is uh, activated. And then 0, 1, and the D1 only, 1, 0, D2 only, 1, 1, D3 only. And that is a 2 by 4 decoder. And we could implement uh, such a function using this simple logic. A, more, a little bit complicated one is a 3 by 8 line decoder. So we have a 3 inputs and a 8 type outputs. Uh, for 3 inputs, uh, we have 8 valid code word. For each code word, uh, only one output is uniquely identified. So this is a truth table for 3 by 8 line decoder. You can see in the outputs, uh, only one output is selected. Uh, while the rest of the output is zero to a given code word. The, this logic could be implemented using several AND gates, uh, something like this given here. So here, let's uh, draw the functional block using a block diagram. So here is a rectangle represent a, a decoder. So here is a 3 by 8 decoder, and it has a enable input. Uh, enable is a control input uh, which enables or disables the device. So when uh, enable is 1, then this device works. Uh, when enable is 0, this device does not work. Uh, so here we have a 3 inputs which produces, uh, which ha has a uh, 8 possible code word. So 8 possible code word is given here. And when Enable is a 1, the device works, uh, meaning only one of the output is uniquely identified to a given code word. When enable is a 0, regardless of the input, output does not produce any, so it's called in disable mode. So using smaller size decoder, you can build a, a larger one. Here, the idea is that by examining the input code word, a list of code words, uh, 
we can easily see the smaller blocks within that and then we can combine that into larger one for example we want to uh, design 4 by 16 decoder using multiple of 2 by 4 decoders so here those small yellow rectangles represent the 2 by 4 decoder with the enable now, by examining the list of the code words so a b c d here is a uh, all possible code word listed and our goal is uh, we have uh, four inputs uh, 4 by 16 so here is a input b input and c input and d input and then eventually we want to produce a uh, 16 outputs uh, the one output is uniquely identified according to the each code word so here well, we want to have a, have a output 0 here and the output 1 and output 2 and output 3 and then output 4 from uh, here and then uh, the mo uppermost one is out output 15 so we want to produce output this way when uh, code word 0000 is given to this decoder then output 0 is 1 while the rest of the output is 0 the if code word 1111 is given output 15 is 1 while the rest of the outputs are 0 so we want to achieve a 4 by 16 decoder using multiple of 2 by 4 so the idea is that as you examine the list of code words what you can find is that a group of four has identical patterns. So here, uh, two by four produces a four output. So four output could be given for each group of four. So we supply C and D as input simultaneously for those four. 2 by 4 decoder is so here C is a given all the four decoders are and the D is a given all those are four decoders are something like this so then those are four decoders are working simultaneously when C D is a 0 and 0 then this line is selected from this decoder and then this line is selected from this decoder and then this one and this one so those are four decoders are working simultaneously and uh, if CD is 0 1 the next output is selected uh, simultaneously in all four decoders so here one decoder is representing those four and then another decoder represent these four and the next decoder represent these four and the last decoder represent these four so to have uh, all collectively as a 4 by 16 the, uh, what we need to do is uh, depending on A and B we need to select uh, one of the four decoders In the first group of four we can see that A and B's are all zeros. So when A and B's are all zeros, then output zero from this decoder is activated. So what we want to do is using this signal, we want to enable this decoder. When A and B is zero and one, then this output is activated uh, then using this signal we want to enable the second decoder and when uh, a and b's are one and zeros uh, then this output is activated uh, using that signal we want to enable this decoder when a and b's are one and one then we want to enable this decoder by doing this way, so A and B selects one of the four decoders while C and D is applied simultaneously to all four decoders. So by combining all those four together with another decoder for controlling purpose, selection purpose, 
we achieve as a collect collectively we achieve a bigger size decoder which is a 4 by 16 so we can extend this idea to design a larger size decoder with the smaller ones uh, the basic idea is a uh, list uh, the all possible input code words uh, and then the smaller size decoder blocks we identify them uh, we have we will have a multiple of those uh, and then using some control signals in the most significant bits uh, try to select uh, those uh, blocks uh, represented by smaller decoders using decoders actually you can implement any arbitrary boolean function <clears throat> the idea is as follows since uh, the decoder produces output which is the uh, same as the min term of a function for example if we have a 4 by 16 decoder if uh, input is a 0 0 0 0 then uh, 0 output is selected which means uh, zero output is selected when min term index is zero because all inputs are zeros and then output one represent the min, the min term index one output two represent the min term index two and so on so using this idea you can implement any arbitrary boolean function using proper size decoder if we have a four input decoder then using this one you can implement any arbitrary four variable boolean functions here example is we have three boolean functions p1 p2 and p3 and then list of min terms are like that then what you do is a four variable a b c d's are connected to the input of the decoder and then a function is implemented by connecting those are corresponding min terms of the output and then put an OR gate. For example, P1, uh, min term lists are given here. So in P1, we have a big OR gate uh, and then connect uh, output 1, 2, 5, 6, 8, 11, 12, 15. And that implements a function P1, function P2, function P3 are implemented similarly. Again, the meaning of this min term list is a uh, function p1 is a 1 when min term 1 is a 1 or min term 2 is a 1 or min term 5 or min term 6 and so on. So naturally, we have a big OR gate uh, which all collects uh, all those uh, min term outputs from the decoder using this idea. You can implement any arbitrary Boolean function. It sounds very straightforward and easy, but the problem is uh, the hardware complexity is too high. Because of that, we don't actually design using this idea in a real in, in practice. In practice, uh, we will use some other techniques.